It's interesting because that first part about efforts to bolster the economy, well, arguably, we didn't get very much of that in terms of the strategy from the recent National People's Congress. Is this more of a valuation story? Well, actually, you know, NPC disappointed only at the margin. You know, um, China has not been pursuing a big bang fiscal stimulus sort of um, move uh, for a while now. So, you know, it was sort of foolhardy to expect one from NPC as well. Having said that, uh, you know, markets uh, have started moving higher. This is possibly the biggest up move in CSI 300 that we have seen since the reopening uh, gains, uh, you know, which started last year in October. Now, um, in this context, if you look under the hood, there are like sectors from right from old as well as new economy, from solar as well as materials, which have gone into the so called technical bull market. This price action is actually backed by Beijing's resolve to stem the route. Their steady stream of stimulus measures and tweaks here and there. And, uh, you know, apart from that, if you look, I mean, the, uh, liquidity moves the market in medium term, and liquidity has turned positive. Southbound uh, has been positive for a while now. Northbound saw a turnaround in February. Um, the flows have been positive this month. And if you look for the long-term picture, you know, earnings and economy, they seem to be giving budding signs of, uh, you know, recovery or stabilization. So all in all, put together, I mean, this essentially means that uh, um, the, the debate would now move from just a tactical rebound to possibly a durable bottom or a sustainable uptrend in Chinese stocks. Abhishek, we, we just showed this terminal earlier and we can bring it back now just to take a look at some of those sectors that have been rallying in particular. So uh, materials, for instance, is standing out. Renewables as well. There's uh, some of the more uh, smaller cap tech companies. Are these the sort of names or, or, or areas that you want to be getting into at this point in time? <laughs> Well, these are definitely rallying, and these all, I mean, most of them actually check in to this new thought that is developing across investment circles about China, that what is this new China going to be? I mean, what does Xi Jinping's vision at current valuations mean? I mean, the 7 trillion had been lost. Valuations are below 9x for uh, MSCI China index. So what does this new China mean? New China means the high quality development that he has been referring to, which includes tech, which includes things that will make consumers and citizens lives easier. Um, New China would also mean high savings growth rate channelizing into equity markets, so something like brokers. There is also this thought that, you know, uh, consumption down trading is happening. So anybody, uh, you know, making those kind of products where, uh, you know, where there is a low price meal, something like Yum China, or anybody who, ha who has the power to make the price or have the inelastic demand, you know, say for that matter, like something like cigarettes, you know, this would be the new China that is getting getting formed now. So, um, I mean, uh, to me, I think, uh, you know, it's legible to expect that there would be more sectors joining this fray, more, more stocks, which will be seeing more than 20% gain from here. Uh, it won't be like how China used to be, but definitely China is looking for more space in portfolios. What does a rebound in China mean for global equity allocations? Well, uh, you know, China is uh, looking to command some of its lost heft. So that essentially means that, you know, this rotation that was happening out, you know, from China to, let's say, something like Japan, India, there will be will be a little bit of moderation uh, in that trend, right? Japan is still very cheap, so there would be only a moderation. Uh, second thing is uh, that, obviously, like we established durable bottom or sustainable uptrend in China itself. Um, and third is that, you know, uh, MSCI EM and MSCI all country world index they haven't really um, done how let's say um, just US index or just India index have done but with China's participation we might be looking at a sustainable sort of trend at least till let's say September October before you know people start positioning for US elections where they they are possibly making uh, newer highs so you know an extension of bull market you know in, in to, to sum it up